diamonds are cut in different stages. They start off in the rough form, the way they've been dug up pretty much out of the ground. They're cleaned up a little bit. Sometimes what we call a window it is polished into the diamond so that you can look inside the diamond. Then they're analyzed so that you can decide how the diamond will be cut to find out the highest quality and the most money that you can get out of the rough. You want either the largest diamond or the highest quality diamonds but smaller. From there, the diamonds go to the cutters. All of the cutting is done by hand. They attach the diamond rough to a dop, which is kind of like a stick that they can hold the diamond with so they're not holding it with their hands. It gets very, very hot. That gets put very gently onto a rotating wheel that cuts the diamond and also polishes the diamond. The value of a diamond is determined by uh, several things. First of all, the four Cs, so we're looking at the colour of the diamond, the clarity, which refers to the minute natural identifiers that are found inside a diamond, little carbon spots or feathers or pinpoints or anything like that. But the larger these are and the more apparent they are, the lower the value of the diamond. The carat weight, which is the actual weight and size of the diamond, and then the cut. So the cut is the most important part other than its size and its weight. The way a diamond is cut is going to create the sparkle and the allure and the beauty of the diamond. Also the market value goes into the price of the diamond, so what rough is available at the time. The other thing that can affect the price is fashion. The popularity of a particular cut or shape. If someone is looking to buy a diamond to wear for an engagement ring or a pendant earring, something like that, they perhaps don't need to bother with the highest of the highest grades. So if you really wanted an investment diamond, I would recommend going at the highest range of colour and clarity and cut. They are always going to be the highest price point. They are going to maintain their price. There's going to be less fluctuation with popularity and fashion. They're always going to be the highest possible benchmark for prices of diamonds. Thank you.